Hello, here I'm going to show you how to control a, a web app. This is JSMOL for seeing structures, the chemical structures in, in, inside the web page uh, with natural language. Okay, so by parsing my natural speech into commands of, that JSMOL can understand, and this parsing is done by GPT-3, which I fed a kind of uh, prompt that has already some examples of how it can convert from natural speech to commands. And well, I can do things like saying, uh, but suppose I don't know how to make the protein spin, then I can tell the system, make the protein spin. Enter, and it converted that into this command, which is not in the training I gave the system, but probably it knows it from the, the, the intrinsic um, the underlying training of uh, GPT-3. Then I can say something like color chain A in um, red, chain P in green, and chain B in blue. Enter. And okay, it created a piece of code that is doing this. Okay, I can also couple these to uh, speech recognition, everything inside the, the, the web browser. So I will remove this, I will activate, listen, and I will start giving it commands. Color everything in gray. Stop spinning. Show me the positive amino acids in blue. And show me the negative amino acids in red. Show me the negative amino acids in red. So you saw how it didn't get it for a moment. It understood bread instead of red. Okay, my English is not perfect, but uh, you see how powerful this is. And uh, as you saw, it can even combine things. For, it, for example, like last time I told, I, uh, in the last command I, uh, command I said, show me the negative amino acids and it kind of knows if we check we will see this is what is it a glutamate another glutamate here this may be an aspartate yes then before that i asked it to show the positive amino acids in blue here you have a lysine let's see if we find an arginine yes an arginine uh, yes and well essentially with this you can give any command in natural language and it will try to parse it to JS small commands. Oh, and I forgot that you can even do something cooler. You can give it commands in any language. For example, I can tell it in Spanish, um, show me everything as fears, which in Spanish would be uh, mostrame todo como esferas, enter, and GPT-3 internally converts into uh, English and the, um, the command. So as you see, it works. I can tell it uh, ocultar todo, that's hide everything. And then I can say, maybe we can try um, Italian. Fammi vedere tutti uh, Tutti, uh, tutte le fe, fenilalanine. I don't know how to write that in English, but in, in Italian, but something like this. Let's see if it works. Okay, yeah, it's showing me all the phenylalanines. As, as you see, this is even robust to mistakes. It's possible that phenylalanine is not spelled this way in Italian, but it's still Got it. I can. We can do an experiment in English if we want to be sure. Show me all. Show me all the uh, let's say tyrosines, but where I forgot the the I. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it showed me. It added the tyrosines. You you see one here and one somewhere else. And we can even say show me all the tyrosines. Uh, let's try this and color rojo, which means in red color. Enter. Yeah, and it got it. So you can even mix the languages and it knows many languages. So well, I think this is quite 
quite uh, impressive. When the commands can become a bit complex, okay, of course it can miss it. And if it writes here some JSmall command that is not an actual command, then it just doesn't do, do anything. Um, I hope you like it. If you have a, an API key from OpenAI, which you can get for free, you can put it here, go to this website, uh, web page that I will leave somewhere, and you can try this out and have fun, of course.